back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ayana for you guys who are new here. I run a candle business by the name of So Yaya and I share my journey with you guys here on YouTube. So in today's video, if you can tell by the title guys, I am finally doing my unboxing for my collaboration that I did with CandlemakingSupplies.net, also known as General Wax. So huge shout out to them for sending me these products today, guys. I am super excited. I have not opened the boxes at all because I just wanted to have that realness when I opened it with you guys. I don't want to go ahead and like formulate my opinions already. So I was like, I'm just going to wait. I will be trying out some of the products that they send in another video. So definitely stay tuned for that video as well. Um, yeah, so without further ado, y'all, I'm not going to do too much talking today. Y'all know I love to talk. We're just going to get right into this video and see what they sent me. I cannot clean up right now because there's a lot going on, okay? So if you see my background, it looks junky. Mind your business. Okay. All right, guys. So I don't think you guys would judge me. So um, they sent me two packages. One. All right, so here's the first thing. Like the first thing they sent me was fragrance oil. So, all right, look, so we're gonna pull everything out and then we'll kind of go from there. Thank you too for these packing peanuts, y'all, because I have literally two full boxes of packing peanuts. I bought packing peanuts one time, one time. And I never had to buy it again because all these candle companies send you so much and I love it. Okay, looks like we have some wax. We have some coconut apricot wax, okay. So y'all know I'm gonna be trying that out for you guys. All right, so that looks like the first thing for that box. Oh no, it's something else down here. Oh wow, more wax. So that's what, 10 pounds? Cause this is 4.9 pounds. So that's 10 pounds of coconut apricot wax and then fragrance oil so let's go ahead and get into the fragrance oil and then i'll open this box first fragrance oil here that i have is citrus paradise let's see can you guys see that i know my lighting is always terrible but okay i've never ordered any fragrance oil from them i only get my candle vessels from them and what else do i get from them I think that's it. That's all I get from them. You know, I have like so many vendors now. We're excited to try out these fragrance oils because hold up. <laughs> Y'all might have a little another customer for fragrance oil. Let's see what it smells like. If I can get it open. All right. So I want to see like, so Citrus Paradise. I wanted to see if that, oh my God, I haven't even sniffed it yet. Wow. So y'all, and no lie, I think they knew it smelled good because they sent me a big one of this one. So good looking out. Cause oh my God. Wow. So I smell like the pineapple. I smell apple. I smell pear. I smell a little hint of grapefruit. So that's definitely one of their fruity scents. And that smells so good. I can't wait to use it. Oh, Y'all, I'm I'm not even kidding. I know I just smelled that thing and I'm like trying to think like, hmm, should I already add this to my line? All right, so next up we have Autumn Dreams. Let's see, let's see what Autumn Dreams smell like. Okay, so this one puts me in the mindset of like baby powder. More of like one of those fresher scents. I was gonna say clean cotton, but definitely not because actually doesn't smell it's definitely one of those fresher scents i'm trying to get what the notes are before looking at it to see if i can see see how much of a candle maker i really am that smells good but y'all i really can't tell what scents are in those i probably should have oh okay so i'm gonna look this up online to see what the scent notes are but that smells really good it almost kind of reminds let me smell it just one more time one more time that smells good and that's autumn dreams. I like that one. That smells good. Okay, next we have moon milk. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, all right, there you go. We got moon milk. What's moon milk hitting for? Okay, so this literally smells like baby oil to me. like a really fancy baby oil. That is definitely what that smells like. Moon milk, okay, y'all, all of these are a hit so far. Hold up, let me find out. I done found me another 
Oh, I didn't even tell y'all what it is. Let me, okay, let's let's back up. Rewind. Screw. Okay, so this one is Queen of the Night. Okay, let's see. Okay. That smells nice. And y'all, I promise you, I'm not just saying that because this is a collaboration. I truly enjoy these scents and I can't wait to do a fragrance video for you guys so you can know like kind of what I kind of more gravitate towards, what smells good, what doesn't smell good. And all of these have been a hit so far. General Rex, y'all are on to something. Okay, so I don't really know what the scent of this would be but it's definitely giving me like a per perfume scent so it definitely smells like you could put that in like a body oil but I would have to look up what these scents notes are and I'm gonna put them down in the description box for you guys next up we have a blooming bouquet ultra let's see what it's hitting for Okay, that kind of smells like leaves to me a little bit. Okay, so obviously bouquet, it's gonna smell like flowers. So that's what it's kind of giving me, like the mindset of like some flowers or leaves. It smells like leaves or a tree, tree sap. Okay, it's not my favorite, but it does not stink. I promise you guys, but it's not it's not one of my favorites. I'm gonna put it over there to the side, but the other ones have been a hit. It's not my favorite. All right, and so we have ethereal waters. Okay, giving queen vibes. So with that name, I'm pretty sure this one smells super elegant. So let's see. <sighs> oh my God, that smells so good. It literally smells like perfume. It literally smells like a coach perfume I had a couple years ago. That smells nice. And I was just saying too, like I just found two different um, fragrance companies to get my fragrances from because that's one thing I always shop around. I know in the beginning I told you guys don't do that. And I promise you if I was just starting out, I would tell you don't do that because it's so easy to, you see how I literally, what was that, six? Yeah, five of them I loved. You know what I mean? So you can't go and just like make every single candle that you love, or you can. I mean, it's your business. You can do whatever you want. But if it was up to me, I would have 20 cents in my line. And I really would have to quit my nine to five because now I couldn't keep up with all of that. But oh my God. All right, so we got, this is one of their bigger boxes. More packing peanuts. Thank you for that. Oh, I did have one more thing that I didn't open. I just noticed there's another one right there. So I can't really tell what this is. Let's go ahead and open it. I don't know about y'all, but every time I get any packaging or anything from another company, I recycle it because I have not had to buy bubble wrap, packing peanuts, craft paper, any of that because the company spends so much of it and I've been in business for a year and a month now and I only bought one bit back of packing peanuts when I first started from eBay and I've never had to buy any since then. Okay, so it looks like we have some boxes of some sort. So these are gift boxes. Okay, let's go ahead and construct one to see what it's giving. This is a bunch and thank you so much because y'all I have two spring candle events that I've already booked for and these will be perfect to okay it comes with a little ribbon okay so this little seem a little complicated so let's see how we are gonna do this um so these boxes will be perfect to have you know, adds that nice little elegance. Cause I do have these boxes, but mine are just square. Okay, okay, okay. All right, and so that's how you do it there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this lighting is really bugging me. Okay, okay, so it looks like, and they definitely send you instructions. I didn't even notice that. I see that that they add to show you how to do the box because I was like, what? So that is 
that's super neat. I like that because, okay, and I'm, because I definitely need to follow when it comes to this. So it looks like you fold it in. You do in, in, in. Okay, so it's kind of like pinch. I don't know if you guys can see. So all I'm doing is like pinching it around. Pinch, pinch, pinch until it gets like this. And then it looks like you take your ribbon. This is super neat. Obviously, I, if I were to have these boxes, I would have to go through and do these like, like spend one day and do all of the boxes because trying to do this every single time you get an order, uh-uh. I kind of bent the box up a little bit with my roughness in the beginning, but it kind of comes together. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let me stand up so y'all can see. So that's what it looks like now. And then all you do is pull the box tighter and your candle goes inside. That is cute. I like that. That is really, really cute. I never would have thought of getting this kind of box for my candle brand, but they have me thinking now. Let's put it to the real test. Let's, let's put a candle inside. I always have a candle around good lord okay and as you can see y'all go shop so yeah yeah candles boom there's zen y'all can see i be burning this i didn't think i would love this scent as much as i do okay this one may not fit this is my 15 ounce it may not fit look at me trying to still force it should i should i force it or should i just look okay <laughs> let me go get one of the 14 ounces. So it has the wick in it because I'm making candles tonight. So on my lunch break, I went and like prepped all of the candle jars. So that's why it has the wick in it. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't change anything. Let's put a cute little bow on it or whatever. Voila. That is so cute. I love it. I like it. That's so cute. I'm, I'm definitely, they sent me so many, they're definitely getting used at my candle pop-up shop because that is neat. And then, um, too, it just adds like that nice little, you know, that little spunk. People will buy stuff. If you have it, if it's cute, you know, that'll gravitate them over to you to smell the candle to begin with. So they sent me two packages of that. What's next? So we have, this is up next. What's in here, what's in here? <gasps> More fragrance oil. They are spoiling me. Oh my God. So they sent me a huge one of the Queen of the Night and that was the last one I was, or well, one of the ones I was telling you guys of the two ounce that smelled literally like a perfume. Oh my God, it definitely, for some reason, it reminds me of the Lacombe perfume. Like it's definitely giving coach vibe. It definitely reminds me of a very like expensive perfume. All right, so next up we have a fa la la. Fa la la. Fa la 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 la. Okay, let's see. Okay, and it's definitely giving fa la because it's definitely giving Christmas. We have a black rose. Let's see. We have a black rose. I know I'm supposed to be giving you guys like what the scent notes of everything, but I can't really pick up all of the scents. So I'm just going to tell you if they smell good or not. General Wax, you have a customer in me always y'all these scents are just i can promise you when you start to smell like different scents you're gonna start knowing like mm, that's a little cheap or a lot of the scents are smell like kind of chemically or they just don't smell like much at all or as soon as you take the top off you're like okay that stinks all of these smell just so high quality like even if I'm like, it's not really a scent that I normally would gravitate to, it's still giving me very much like, I could make that work. That smells so good. I, I really, I can smell the rose in it. You definitely can smell the flower. I'm already thinking like, which scents can I knock out to add in these scents? I'm not even kidding. These smell so good. No shade to my scents that I already have because they definitely smell amazing, but 
these are giving just such high quality like let me smell that again because i can't really pick up the notes i'm not even kidding but i definitely smell the rose in it it's definitely one of those softer scents oh that smells so good like it's not overpowering or making my head hurt it smells amazing all right and then we have shoot for the moon Oh, they sent so many. Oh my God. That smells like syrup to me, like almost like cough syrup, not just regular maple syrup. This is more like a cough syrup. I definitely smell some grape in here. Oh yeah, that smells like cough syrup. So not really one of my favorites. So this is like one of the only ones out of all of these that I'm like, I'm going to put you to the side, okay? I'm going to put you over there. We're going to smell you again later because sometimes, too, when you smell so many things at one time, it's kind of like, you know, it starts to, um, you need your black beans. Oh, my God, they sent me more wax? Oh, my God. So, this is a five-pound bag of wax of 100% soy wax. So as I was telling you guys in the beginning, I did not use any soy wax. Um, I tried it. I didn't really like it. I never tried it from this company. As you guys know, like you'll go and you'll get something from one company and then you'll get it from another company and it'd be two completely totally different products. I can't wait to try these out. I'm super excited to try that coconut apricot because I haven't tried that since the very, very beginning. So it was one of, it was giving me very luxury, very elegant, um, and I just don't want to throw luxury on it, but it definitely was one of those waxes that was a little bit more expensive, but it definitely performed well. You guys always ask me all the time, how do you get your candles to not have any like any sinkholes or do you get any tunneling or what about when you're done? Do you get any um, smooth tops? And to answer your question, I always get smooth tops with virgin coconut soy wax, but I also got that same thing with coconut apricot. So... I don't know, like that was just kind of one of my trial and error phases where I just went through what was kind of like more of the higher end wax and I kind of just started from there. But everyone starts off with soy wax when you come into the game. I tried this out and I immediately was like, no, I, I'm, I'm good. But these will be perfect because I'm actually adding um, wax melts back to my line. If you are an OG here, you know that I used to sell wax melts, kind of stopped because I wanted to just focus strictly on candles, making sure I was really affecting that one product first before I started adding in different products because although it may look easy, it's really hard to chemically balance things together, mix things together and get it to actually smell good. So I told myself like this year, I'm really gonna focus into adding more things to my line. So wax melts are definitely gonna be next. Soy wax is definitely good for using things like tarts and it for wax melts. So I'm really excited, but I'm also gonna try it in candles as well. Y'all, there is still more stuff at the bottom of this. Oh my God, y'all. What, where did my scissors go? I'm gonna drop the scissors into the box with all the packaging in it. But y'all, more wax. So let's see what this one is. This is, um, my first collab well this is my second collab but this is the first company who's actually uh sent me any products super super grateful for that like i said i'm not monetized i was trying to look for other ways that i can uh, make some revenue or just exchanges or whatever the agreement that i have with the company um and they really like they done elevated the block for me like when i reach out to these companies now i'm like okay what you offering and if it's not this, okay, I pass. <laughs> Cause this has me spoiled, y'all. They sent me more coconut apricot wax. That's 20 pounds of wax. Oh, it's gonna be a candle making weekend up in here. Let's see if there's anything else at the bottom. It's, and I'm not saying that is it. Like, oh, that's all I'm saying. If there's something else in here, they know they really outdid themselves. So that is all the stuff that I got from them. So that is five pounds of soy wax, 20 pounds of coconut apricot wax. And then they sent me five four ounces of fragrance oil. And then they sent me five 
two ounces. Wow. I am literally so speechless. Like, that's awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I am going to be trying out these products and we're going to see how they perform in my next video. Um, thank you guys, as always, for tuning into this video. Super thank you and super shout out to Candle Making Supplies, also known as General Wax, for sending me these supplies. I cannot wait to try them out. The ladies over there that I talk to all the time, they are just the sweetest ladies. Um, and thank you guys so much for trusting me to try these products out for you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video and I can't wait for the next collab. Bye guys.